Hey, how's it going everyone? This is PD Prolock and Newcastle got a 2-2 draw against Norwich City in what was a brilliant game tonight by both teams as well. But Newcastle, even though we went 2-1 down, we're having chance after chance as well just to get right back into this game. And we've come away with the point, but I thought we could have nicked it. Or if Dolo didn't make that hash of that kick, Newcastle could have won the game as well. But so, it was a very good game. I thought we were just very unlucky not to get the all to come away with all three points. Because I thought Newcastle were the better team for most of the game, I thought. Now, coming up the team sheet. Um, he puts... He drops Modi Army. He puts Perez in. I didn't understand that. Why? But Perez had a really good game the night I thought. He was having chances. He was trying to set up goals for people. It only took him a minute to get the goal. No, not a minute. 24 seconds, actually. Which was a uh, thing as well. And I can understand why he didn't risk Dwight Gale back to the start lineup. So I could understand that one, why he didn't. He saw, and he continues with Mitrovic. Uh, Mitrovic has been criticised for his performances, but I thought he was having good chances. It's just a shame he couldn't put them away. But he should really be taking those a lot of the time. But he was trying to have chances. He was getting chances put to him. So, for the... Twenty-four seconds. What a pass by Matt Ritchie. He finds Iosi Perez, buries it past Ruddy, who had no chance of that. Great finish, absolutely great finish. And now you think Newcastle have got a chance, but defence has been shaky. It's from Newcastle's, but Norwich's defence was also shaky. They give the ball away to Mitrovic. Mitrovic has takes time to run to the goal, takes his shot, but Ruddy makes himself look big. It was a decent save. For that but again Norwich are panicking in defense at the minute giving balls away now Norwich have been on a good run as well and beaten in a a few games but the, the defense was looking absolutely shaky at the back giving ball away in that if Mitrovic put that in for hey Norwich could have been in absolute trouble here but it didn't take long for Jerome to rob sells off the ball he squares it across goal and Murphy is there. Jake and Murphy is there to pounce in on the equaliser. And that is a bit frustrating. After we could have went 2-0 up, Norwich go and grab an equaliser as well. So now this is what was definitely could have been if this didn't happen. Norwich play a long ball up. Carl Dolo is coming out to kick the ball away. He gets his leg on it. It's not on his boot. It's like on his leg. Or it's the wrong side of his boot. It makes a total hash of it. It's going behind him. Jerome is there. He gets the ball. All he has to do, because there's no Newcastle player defender in front of him. He just has to roll it into an empty net. He's done it. Norwich have went 2-1 up. So it was a little bit. That one came out of just a mistake. We don't see them that often. I've been a big fan of Carl Dolo ever since, but... It was just one of those unlucky things at times, I'm guessing. But the thing is, we're 2-1 down. Newcastle are still having chance after chance. Mitro has, Mitrovic has a headed save by Ruddy from a decent ball in. Uh, Perez plays in at Mitrovic. He hits the post as well. So again, Newcastle trying to continue having chance after chance. As well so. And we're, we're, we're not out of this game yet. We're still getting back into the game. Until we get into the end there, but out of this blue, because he has had a few rotten performances, Jamal Lascelles, he was a bit shaky the night. The Newcastle win with the ball in. No one gets ahead on it, but Perez is there to get it back. He then plays it in, and there's Lascelles at the far post to get his foot on it and bury it in for 2 2. Great finish as well, so. This also could have been a winner as well. A great through ball by Christian Atsu who came on uh, for Richie. Richie is on a ninth booking, so 
it just he just needs one yellow card before he's going to get a two game ban so it was probably a good idea to take him off and keep him for the villa game uh, on monday but a great through ball by atsu into perez but i think perez was shooting at a bit of a tight angle in my opinion and ruddy got down and saved really chance to get the winner there as well so just a bit and then we'll get a free kick right at the end so i'm thinking that okay we're in got a free kick in in the dying seconds of the game so we're not going to lose this game now we'll get the ball and apparently we're very lucky not to get that goal as well ruddy just getting onto it but i've got to say it was a great point it was just very unlucky we didn't come out with the three points but as i said norwich have been on a pretty impressive run lately as well and beaten in a, a few games but it was a great point ipswich have done well a favor they've got a draw at brighton as well but shame about reading and huddersfield have uh, picked up all three points as well so a little bit unlucky but we're playing them on monday and it's looking bad for aston villa at the minute they got beat 3-1 of barnsley at villa park and i've got to say villa had a rotten start of the season under Di Matteo. bruce uh, is then appointed he um he tries to get them out of shit a little bit he does and then it's back to square one they're absolutely on a downfall at the minute so my god i think they've just absolutely blown their chances of getting back into the premier league so far they could be stuck down there for a while but we shall see but we are playing them on monday and i'm gonna be at st james's park at that game so i'll be sitting in the crowd for the game yes can't wait for that which is going to make this a very special night as well so i'm very looking forward to that and i've got to say i think judging by Villa's absolute rotten performance so their worst uh, run that score that the run is going on so far i think we'll win this game by three goals to nil i expect gail might come back in the starting lineup i think he will i would drop call back oh, peter, peter said call back wasn't great the night and i would stick hayden back in there now do you keep perez in or do you put the army back in i don't know that is going to be the tough one i think back forward will be the same donald continuing goal the wings, I suspect um, Richie will be there. Gufran might still be there. Or will he go with Atsu as well? Or will he put Atsu in? We shall find out. But I think, looking forward, I think we should beat Villa on Monday night at least. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos. And uh, if you want to check us out a bit more, I'd sure appreciate the subscribers coming in. Give us a like on the video and also give us a comment what you thought of the game as well. As I said, very unlucky not to get the three points tonight. Just due to uh, a mistake from our keeper. And uh, just a chance we couldn't take right at the end of the game. So there you go. And I'll see you all later. Take care of yourselves. Looking forward to Aston Villa on Monday night. Let's hope we can get there and beat them.